Curry. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Today I'm going to be building Christmas baskets with you and I am so excited. It's my favorite time of the year and I have about 20 to 21 baskets that I need to put together today. So I have a bunch of goodies laid out in front of me, wanted to show you kind of where I got everything from and how I put together my baskets. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. All right, so starting out with some of the baskets that I picked up, the red one is from Dollar Tree and I picked up about four of them. I thought they were really cute because they resembled Santa's belt and they're definitely more on the larger side so I felt like I could fit a lot more goodies in there. The one on the left um, that says Merry Christmas, that one is from Hobby Lobby. They were having a 60% off sale on all of their holiday decor so definitely wanted to make sure that I snagged some of those. And these buckets right here, they are also from Hobby Lobby. And um, they were also 60% off. I would say they're about a medium size. thought they were really cute, so I picked up a couple of them. And then I snagged some of these sprinkles from Target. These are definitely a lot larger than I thought they were going to be. I know it says 11.5 ounces, but for some reason I thought they were going to be really small. But they are on the larger side, so I only picked up about four of those. And then four of these like multi sprinkles, um, I thought they were super cute for like baking um, or basically making any treats for the holidays. And I picked up some candy, some Hershey Kisses and some of um, these candy canes from Dollar Tree. And then these cute little trees. So I'm actually thinking of just using them as part of the baskets for like decor. Um, just to kind of like make the baskets look a little bit more Christmassy. So we'll see how those go. So I picked up one set of three in white and then there's one set of three in green. And then these sets right here, I thought they were really cute. They're um, hand towels and then these little like oven mitts. Um, these came in a pack of two and some of them are matching like this one that says known for the holidays. And then there is a matching set of like pot holders. So I thought that that was super cute. So picked up a, a few of those. And then these are like these cute little um, pot holders, or I guess you could say cup holders, um, but it has different sayings on each one, like tis the season, Merry Christmas, season greetings, merry and bright. So picked up two sets of those from Hobby Lobby. And then these are really, really fun and cute. So they're actually supposed to be Christmas ornaments that you hang on the tree, but I thought they would be really cute to also add alongside of um, the Christmas trees there for some of the decor inside of the baskets. So we'll see how those work out. And then I did get some of these little bowls and these bowls I just really used to kind of um, spice up some of the candies. You'll see a little bit later when I show you how to make the baskets. Um, I just add them onto some of the chocolate bars just to make them a little bit more um, decorative. And then at Target, I picked up some of these little cookie cutters. I got them in a bunch of different designs. Um, I thought they were super cute. You have like candy canes and there's like a gingerbread. There is a little snowflake here. Um, this is a stocking. And then there is a snowman and a Christmas tree. Just a bunch of different ones just to add um, to the gift baskets. And then moving on to some of the chocolate and other goodies. So these ones I plan on probably taking them out. And instead of just giving like one whole box in a basket, maybe separating them out. We'll kind of see how they go. Each pack comes in five. And I think I did get six of them. So I might have too much, but we'll just kind of see how we, um, how we can get those added to the baskets. All right, and then I have some of these candy cane spoons and stirring spoons. I thought they were really cute. They do have to stay in the pack, so these are definitely going to be added um, straight into the baskets, but you essentially just mix them into your hot cocoa or any other drink that you have. So I thought those would be really fun. And then these are also some of the recess kind of holiday um, colored ones with the wrapping, just red and green and, and gold. And then I got some of these peppermint barks, picked these up from Hobby Lobby. Um, I thought they were super cool looking. And then these are ones that I would add like the bows to it to just kind of dress them up a little bit more. And then I've been looking for holiday 
um, marshmallows and I thought that these were really cute because some of them I think they look like stars maybe they are supposed to be stars but I thought they were supposed to be Christmas trees um, but they come in green and pink so I picked up about five or so of these um, bags of marshmallows and I am going to be taking them out and separating them into their own like individual mason jars so I will show you that a little bit later in this video and then these are individual hot cocoa packets also picked these up from Dollar Tree I um, thought these were really cool they each come with one um, nestle packet inside of them moving on to some of the mugs so these came in a pack of six I did pick them up from Amazon they say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and each one has a different character on them um, one has like a snowman this one has a gnome I think this one has like a reindeer so thought that they were really cute I can also add like some of the chocolates and just some of the other decor stuff into the mugs to kind of dress them up a little bit and then these I picked up from Target um, these I thought were really nice mugs um, they say Merry Christmas and these are little decorative picks that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Thought they were really cute, just kind of like the Christmas trees. Um, I do like to add some decor and thought that this one had a little bit more color with the red. So looking forward to using those. And I did pick up a few of these, I would say about six or so, and they do have different designs on them, but um, they are ornaments. So kind of like the pillowcases that I showed you earlier. And then picked up some of these Betty Crocker um, brownie mix, and then also got a chocolate chip mix. These are both from the Dollar Tree, and I've heard that these are really good, so definitely wanted to pick some of these up to add them to the baskets. And then these two sets of baskets right here. So this one says Baking Spirits Bright. This one says fresh cut trees. I did get these both from the Dollar Tree and I would say they're a pretty decent size. Um, kind of basket or bucket to put things inside. Um, so really looking forward to using these. And then the remaining things that I have on this side is just what is really gonna help me to assemble everything. So I do buy a lot of these um, shredded paper and I did buy them in white and red this year. Um, this is because typically when I put heavier items in the baskets, if I use tissue paper, it really just kind of sinks to the bottom. So this is a little bit more filling, a little bit more sturdier. So I find that it helps a little better. So I did buy two packets of each and then I do have another white one and then another red one coming in the mail. I do know that you can kind of buy them anywhere. Um, I did pick these one pound bags up from Amazon. But I know you can find them at um, like the Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Target, Walmart, anywhere nearby should have these. So this is um, cellophane wrap that I did pick up. Um, I have a couple different ones. So this is just basically a whole roll of cellophane. And then these down here are basket bags. Um, same material they're, they're the cellophane bags and they're clear and so if they're bigger baskets I will use this one but if they're smaller baskets like some of these right here are not as um, large so I will just um, kind of like your wrapping presents I will use one of these to um, wrap them up so I'll kind of show you the different ways that I do that and then I picked up these from Amazon. I thought they were really cute. They're just little tags. Um, I believe there's four different designs, um, but these are the two right here. And so I am gonna add these to the mason jars once I get those um, put together. And then these are just extra bags. Um, for some of the chocolates that I bought, if they don't fit all in the mason jars, because I know the mason jars are mainly going to be for the um, marshmallows, then I will um, put the individual wrapped um, candy into this. And I did pick this up from Target. All right, and then here are the mason jars that I was talking to you about earlier. Um, they did come in a pack, and I bought them off Amazon. I would say I think they're 12 ounces. I will have to double check. I'll leave it down below in the description box for you. But essentially, I'm just going to be filling all of these with the marshmallows that I got from Target. And then if I have any extra, I'll definitely put some of the chocolates that I bought, some of the Kisses and Reese's into them. And then um, I did go ahead and wash all of them since we are putting um, food in them. Definitely want to make sure they were all ready to go. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But the 
This is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. To come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da da oh, 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 making our Christmas memories, yes, these are the good with you don't even care what we do if I spend it with you mm -hmm. just you and nobody else it's so good to see you again to see you again baby this year it's just gonna be you and me All right, just wanted to show you all what the finished assembled baskets look like. The last step for me right now is just to go ahead and add the cellophane wrap to it and add the bow. But just wanted to show you guys, they're all a little bit different. And I think they turned out really well. So I know in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I was gonna be making like 20 to 21 baskets. But I only had enough goodies for about 16 of them. So we're a little short on the goodies. But um, I think for now, this kind of does a job. I think they all look really well. I'm going to go ahead and finish um, wrapping these all up. And I wanted to show you guys a close-up of these bows. So originally, I was going to use um, these bows that I bought from Dollar Tree. But I realized that I had so many of these pool bowls which I think work really well. Um, they already come packaged up, ready to go. All you have to do is really like pull the string and um, they already come out basically looking just like this. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of the baskets and then I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go out. Out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. I 
just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Baskets are finally done. They're all wrapped, all assembled. Just wanted to show you guys the final product. All 16 of them. I had a little trouble with the cellophane. Um, this is my first time using like a roll of cellophane. Normally I use the cellophane um, baggies and kind of just put the baskets in the bags and then tie them up that way. But this time I used the um, cellophane roll. So I had to kind of do double because some of these baskets were a little bit too big but yeah I just wanted to show you guys how they all came out I'll insert some close-up pics of um, some of the individual baskets but I think they all um, look pretty good it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree tomorrow. 